you know. And you know, you'll do that, you know, and then you'll cheat it. Alright, you want to make it a very thin line. You'll trim it. That's the red, and this is the darker. And you have that little red right there. So that's where you get effects like this. You can do it freehand with a stroke if you if you're just feeling it. If you're not, you're cheating by trimming, you know, just and sometimes I'll find myself like I was doing there, I'll be I'll be like really like into it. I'm like and I'll just like walk away, like I can't walk away. I'm just you know, I'm just you know, and, and it affects, you know, it affects. You know, you bring dimension into it. So all of your work is done with spray? Yeah, all my work, no. I work on, uh, you know, a little clock. Sometimes the clock cap is your best friend. Look at that little thing. Like, it's hard to get that, but then you add, you know, you know, whatever, you know, whatever affects the brain dimension to it. But no, I mean, a lot of my work, I mean, my last, you know, that one was done in 1989, and I was doing temporarily all spray painting on canvas and linen. And then I, uh, for the longest now, I've been working with charcoal, uh, oil paint. I love oil. I'm coming back to oil, like, you know, like real serious into oils. Because um, I, I want to make this painting that I've been thinking about for the last few months called, called American Splendor. And I'm really looking forward to it. So this show that I'm having in Genoa, Italy, next month, uh, which consists of these paintings, is basically all studies. These are studies to bigger paintings that I've been 